Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Happy Sunday to you. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my makeup basket for the week. I have some products that I used last week that I was really excited about and got really good use out of. Most of the products that I have been using are things that are already established in my collection and that I don't plan on getting rid of. But um, as I go through them, if I find anything that is... Um, like maybe needing to be used right away or anything like that. That's Those are things that I will usually focus a little bit more on. Um, I had three palettes that I used for last week and one of them was the Pure Midnight Masquerade and really, this really beautiful is, palette. This is definitely a color that I'm drawn to for blush and then blush. Um, these two colors right here are great for highlighters and just like really bronzing up the face with this right here. And then I also used uh, this green color down here. There are no col names to these colors, but this green color down here is very, very beautiful. And I really enjoyed that one. And then, oh, that's, there are names on this. <laughs> it's called Mask Off. That's what that green color is called. And then Sneak Peek this brown color right here is a great color. I um, really like this. This is not my very favorite palette, but it is a palette that I will definitely get use out of. Okay, another one that I use is the Zulus from Juvia's Place. And this palette, um, I'm trying to think if there's any color in here I didn't use this week. I think it would be this one right here that I did not use at all this week. Um, I don't know why, but I mean, it's a bold color, but you can definitely blend it out and get a, a really beautiful color with it. It is, see, it doesn't go on too bold like and blend it out, but that was the only one that I did not use. Whereas this one here got heavy use because I'm actually wearing that today as my blush. This is a very, very beautiful color. I really, really like it on my eyes as well as on my face. And then I used my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, and this palette is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, and it is not the most exciting palette to look at in its, um, in the palette, like the colors are not the most exciting, but this is truly a beautiful palette that I absolutely love. I have two of these palettes, and it's because I, the other one there, I've hit pan on this color, and... I have really significant dips in these colors in the middle as well as this gray color. So this is definitely one of the, my favorite palettes in my collection. So now moving on, I needed more liquid liner and I <clears throat> wanted to try something else. So I need a new liner and I needed new mascara, but I decided that I was going to go with the Essence Mascara. Now this one is not one of the, I normally use the one in the pink bottle. I can't remember the name of it, but um, Jackie Taylor was talking. She had this in her favorites, and I know that I've never used this one in particular, but her lashes were looking so gorgeous that I really wanted to try this one out, and this is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the pink one has a false, la false lash effect, but it is not waterproof. Because I normally don't do waterproof mascara because that tends to dry your lashes out. But um, anyway, I'm not really sure what the pink one is. I'll try to look it up. But this one, I did give it a try. And this has a very, very tiny wand. So it is perfect for my lower lashes. I believe the pink one does have a much bigger wand. And that is something I do like about it. I like the fact that it has a bigger wand for my upper lashes. But this definitely held true to what it's supposed to do. My lower lashes are nice and just, they're just amazing. But I didn't use this one on its own because when I went in, I actually saw that they had this one, which is the same green color, and it is the Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara, It, but it has the volumizing fibers in it. And wow, these this still has a small wand, it comes up a little in the middle, but this is still a nice small wand that you can get all of your lashes with. I'm able to get lashes on the end and on the inner corner that I normally don't even bother with. And so I was able to get really, really, really intense lashes. You see how they are just like so heavily coated? And I'm not one who's afraid of having um, clumps in my lashes. I actually like that. And so that's how my lashes came out. They came out kind of clumpy, but that was something that I did intentionally because I, again, I do like that. So these two right here are a definite winner. I do want to go back and get the pink one to mix with these because I normally use more than one mascara at, at any given time. So I will definitely get the pink one. And I do have a coupon for $5 off of $10 that ends today. So I'll probably go out this afternoon and just pick that one up. 
will maybe pick up a couple of them. And then the other things that I purchased while I was there were these two liquid liners. And this one is the Essence 2-in-1 eyeliner pen. One is thick, one is thin. So this is the thick side and it looks like a kind of like a fine point Sharpie. And then the thin side is, this is the nib over here. And I will say, I got this and then I got this one right here and this is the very same as the thin side on this one right here, which I didn't realize that it would be the very same, but it doesn't matter. Um, th these were like $2 and change, so it really, it was okay. <laughs> so this liner, I really do like. The only thing is, and I said this the last time I went shopping for eyeliner, liquid liner, a liquid liner pen. You see how beautiful, how beautifully these mark. This one came out a little bit light, but Oh, well, actually, it's showing up just the way it does it. It Once you use it one time, it has to recover. And that is an issue to me with the thicker side. It has a shiny finish. It's not one of the matte finish pens, which I like a shiny finish. But I also noticed that yesterday when I wore this, I wore this mascara, even the one with the micro, the fibers, the volumizing fibers, and I wore this eyelining pen. And I took a nap yesterday afternoon, and when I woke up, everything was still intact. I had absolutely no flakes on my face from the mascara, and I my liner was still intact. So even though they are not the perfect look that I normally go for, my favorite pen is this Man Eater pen from Tarte. And the only thing is, this one right here is completely free because apparently I wasn't closing it properly. Now you look at that it's you can see the difference between the the blackness of this pen and that pen once it dries down anyway it usually is just a little bit darker but considering the fact that this is i believe about eighteen dollars and <clears throat> this was three dollars this double-ended pen was three dollars is really no comparison as far as saying well it doesn't live up to the man eater because the difference is amazing and it's something that I would repurchase. So it obviously is a, it's good. It really is a good thing. And so I mean, I this am. right down here, that's definitely not that other side. I would just go with this pen right here. I wouldn't do the double ended because the wider side is good for mapping out a thicker line, but then you definitely have to go on the thinner side in order for you to fill it in. So I don't know if that makes a difference as much as, yeah, I think it is definitely a good purchase, especially at the price point. So those are the um, newer items that I purchased. So yeah. from there, I am going to show you, okay, I will show you my foundation that I plan on wearing this week. Today I have on my foundation combination of the NARS and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Radiant. You'll see that the NARS is much lighter than anything that would be for me, as much as in order for me to get a foundation to mix into my the foundation that I have that is too red for me, I have to get a much, much lighter color and just mix a touch of it in or else it just doesn't work out. Yes, this, this right was... here was gifted to me and that, and it turns out that it's the perfect match for me to be able to make this color work for me. Like today I have on my, um, I have this combination on today and I didn't even mix them in my hand. What I actually did was just dotted on the light and I dotted on the darker one and I just mixed them as I blend them with my puff and it blended perfectly. They both have a radiant finish, so that it was really perfect for me to do what I was going to do with my skin, and I absolutely love the way my foundation turned out today. So I'm really excited about using this combination. I also have this combination, um, which is the Natural Beige and the Chestnut from Too Faced, but this one right here, the Natural Beige, beige is actually a little bit too dark to give me the right effect to make this less red. And so if this was lighter, I think it would work out a little bit better. But um, as it stands, that's just the way it is. So I will try to mix these two instead and um, see how that works out. So I am going to try to give my Estee Lauder Double Wear a break for this week, but yet this is my perfect everything. This is really perfect. And I have also been mixing my Juvia's Place 300 Gabon. 
I have been mixing this with a little bit of this NARS and it has been working out. I either mix it with the NARS or I mix it with a lot of moisturizer for my skin to make it so that this right here is not so um, cakey looking on my face. I don't really like to have that look. Um, it's There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my look to have. And um, so those are, I guess, going to be, I'm going to be rotating these foundations here. These are the foundations I'll be rotating this week. The Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Too Faced Born This Way, and the Juvia's Place. And these are all foundations that I normally bring out spring and summer because my skin gets darker. But I mean, it's daylight savings today, so I'm like in a spring mood, okay? <laughs> so those are the things that I will be using. And I'm trying to think of what else. And then I just have my palettes to share with you. For my palettes, I pulled a couple of palettes that I haven't pulled in quite some time. Um, I have my Tardius Pro that I'm going to be using. And generally speaking, when I pull this palette out, I just stick to these dual chromes over here. But I am going to work more on this side this time. Immediately, I go to swatch it and I go to the dual chromes. This is one of my favorite colors in this palette. But then this color here is another one that is really, really pretty. And get another one of the lighter ones. They're really, really, really beautiful. I love these colors and they blend out really, really easily. So I will be using this palette and I'm also pulling the Tartlet Toasted and um, this palette, oh my goodness, this palette is worked over because this is a heavily used palette. Um, <laughs> this, yeah, I really love this palette. This one right here, which is called Crackle. This is the most beautiful deep brown, but then it has gold sparkles in it. This is the most beautiful color in this entire palette. I love it so much because I can use this color on its own and really blow it out. Or I can use it over, what is it, Fireside, which is just a matte brown. Just put this on underneath it and then tag it in the center with that top one and it is so beautiful and it makes you look like you spent hours doing your makeup and it's like a super quick five minute look so it's so those are the two tart palettes that i have that i will be using for this week and then i have three palettes that i normally pull together and these are sweet peach palettes from Too Faced. i haven't pulled a Too Faced palette in quite some time it's amazing whereas at one point that's what i pulled all the time <laughs> But I'm going to be pulling the Sweet Peach palette, and this is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful palette. It is, oh, let's see. Delectable is this beautiful purple color that is really gorgeous. And um, let's see, Caramelized, that's another one that I really do like. See that? I love these so much. And then, of course, Candied Peach which is the one right in the center. That one has the biggest dip because caramelized and candied peach are usually two that I use together. And so I'm gonna try to create some new combinations. So then I have my Papa Don't Peach blush and this I love. This is a really, really pretty blush. It seems like it's getting a little bit of hard pan. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so beautiful. I normally use this on top of a deeper blush and it is so gorgeous. And then the Sweet Peach Glow is really, really pretty as well. You have the bronzy color on one side, very pretty. And I don't know if the name of this one is Papa Don't Peach or if this is the same thing. This may be Papa Don't, maybe it's not. No, this one's more brown than this one, but they pretty much look the same. And then there's this one on the side that is really pretty and so these I pulled and I have to smell it because it smells so good. <laughs> From there, the only other things that I've pulled are a few um, Wet n Wild colors that I haven't used in some time. I actually gave these to my daughter, but as of right now, we are really pretty much sharing back and forth with the things that we have. And so I have these from the Crystal Collection and this Mega Glow Eyeshadow Trio, this is the color in jade this is the set in jade this is so pretty it's I should open it 
these colors are so gorgeous. I mean, I absolutely love green eyeshadow, so it's going to be... Goodness. That's the top color I just swatched. And that one didn't swatch at all. Hmm. The color on this one's not coming off at all. See how it's there on my finger, but hmm. That's weird. Very strange. Okay. And then this is the green, the dark green one. See that? They're really, really pretty. Even the one that's not showing up very well. I think with a brush, that one shows up well, but then it doesn't swatch well. And then the next one that I have is the Rose Quartz. And this is absolutely gorgeous. The Rose you know, it's Quartz. And these are very, very beautiful. And then this is the Amethyst palette. And these are pretty. There you go. They're pretty, aren't they? They are absolutely gorgeous, just glistening. I absolutely love and these. Generally, I usually mix a lot of different colors from different palettes, and so that's why I usually pull so many colors for the week, because if I don't, I find myself searching through my collection, looking for different things to fill in. Then for my lips, I didn't pull anything for my lips for this week. I have been, but I have been using the very same colors. Actually, the, oh no, look at this. I forgot I got this lipstick right here. This is an NYX matte lipstick. This is so gorgeous. It is, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is such a beautiful color. Look at that gorgeous color. I just thought this was just so perfect for the springtime. And it matches my Pat McGrath Cyber Orchid. And I'm telling you, this is, it's such a nice combination. Look at that. I put this right here on all over my lips with the exception of the pout right on the bottom. And then I add this right here to it. And it is gorgeous. I am talking absolutely gorgeous. So, and then of course I add my gloss over it. <laughs> and then I have also been wearing this one a lot. This is what I have on today. This is my Chanel number 174 Rouge Angelic. And this is just the exact color of the center of my lips. And so I really, I tend to wear this one a lot. This is my go-to nude because it's extremely hydrating. <laughs> so I never have to worry about on days when my lips are a little bit more dry than normal, if it's going to like, you know, dry my lips out or anything, I'll look funny. So <laughs> this right here is one that I, I really like to use. So, um, for my nails, I am going to be wearing this color for the springtime. I think this is just what I'm going to do. I have been trying to find, um, a pink color I that I have really one like from OPI it. that I really like and it is called Petal Petal Faster Susie and I really really like this color this is like my pink that I love because it has a little bit of a blue undertone and I think that really w works well with my skin color but somehow or another this right here chips and I'm thinking to bring it into my manicurist to see if she can apply it for me and not have any chipping. But as it stands, when I put this on myself, which I love to polish my nails, um, this right here chips when I use it. And so I have been using Flying Colors number 701A. This is a Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. And I only tried this because there was a color in a set that I bought. It was called Periwinkle of an Eye. And it's a beautiful blue color. And that's the one that I expected to love in the pack. And I do really, really like it. But this one right here goes on almost like, um, there's one from OPI called Funny Buddy. Funny Bunny. <laughs> it's called Funny Bunny and it goes on and it's not streaky. This one does not get streaky. I do have to apply multiple coats. I put on three coats. Funny Bunny, you don't have to put on as many coats. But this one right here, I put it on and it is so beautiful. I really, really, really like this. And I have been looking forward to wearing this for the summertime. Well, for the springtime. Although I was looking for something else. I wanted a color that I could do myself that stays on. But um, 
that's like this pink color and I want to accent with some green sparkles because pink and green has been everything in my eyes when it comes to what I'm going to be doing for the springtime. Everything that I have like purchased or pulled out for the spring, everything is pink and green. I love pink and green together. I am going to be accenting my closet in pink and green because I am just like in love with the combination and it just makes me feel really, really happy. I've been decorating my planner all pink and green. Everything is pink and green. <laughs> so I'm like really excited about that. I think I'm just ready for the springtime. I do love the winter because we get snow, but at the same time, um, we didn't get much snow this year that stayed. We had one snow that lasted a couple of days and that was it. So I'm like ready for springtime. <laughs> so I'm ready for springtime. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. And if you have any plans or things that you're going to be doing this spring, I would love for you to share it below. And I look forward to reading your comments and responding to you. And I will talk to you very shortly in my next video. Bye guys.